ready to show you our bike rack that we got on Amazon. We saw it at the RV show and thought it'd be one that would work with our little van, little trailer. So Dave, take it away. Do the installation. I will work on it. <laughs> Was it about $150, $159? Yeah. It ranged anywhere from yeah, I think we found that the least expensive we found was on Amazon at 158 but do you see them on sale? I, no, I got it from Cabela's. Cabela's, not Amazon. Yeah. Definitely info people need to know. But you did see them on Amazon. They were just more expensive on Amazon. A little bit, and uh, they're all over the map. They're anywhere between 200, 210, and all the way down. I think I found it for this one for 158. And we tried it once. We took our bikes to an FMCA rally and it worked great. And so we felt confident enough in it to show you how we install it on our Airstream. We ride two little bikes um, that remind us of our childhood with the high handlebars and the banana seats. And we like them because one, it's nostalgic and two, they were much less expensive than some fancy dancy foldable bikes. And then three, they're really fun to ride around the campground. They're the right size, you know, for the pedal speed that we're wanting to do. We're not doing trails and mountain biking or anything like that. We are just riding around campgrounds. So these youth children bikes are perfect for us. And, and easy installation, uh, mount right underneath the uh, jack. And these pieces come off. Uh, if you want to store just the top parts away, you leave this part permanently mounted. And um, I don't know, 20 minutes you can have this on. And it just takes a little longer to adjust the pins and the hooks for your particular bike. That's a little trial and error. It can take a little while. All right, so here's my Schwinn. No pedals have been taken off, though the handlebars have been turned sideways. Now you're just fastening the ties, which I'm gonna have to tilt the camera. basically kind of bungee rubber, rubber straps. You have one strap on the back tire and two on the front tire? Yeah, and you, uh, you get to adjust those in whichever way fits your bike. And, uh, they have an adapter that you can put on here that will allow you to put four bikes on. We used the, just the two. Okay. Two rubber straps on the front, one rubber strap on the back. Now it's time for Dave's bike. His also has a banana seat and the high handlebars. You can install the bikes with the uh, chain side, the sprocket side facing away from the bicycle mount. And I always forget, am I hooking the frame or hooking the wheel? And Dave has to remind me because you are hooking the wheel onto the, the frame and then using the rubber straps to secure them. Again, this is only the second time we've done it. So we are not smooth and ready for prime time, so to speak, but it gives you an idea of how quickly you can add your two bikes, even for people who are not experts at it. We have fenders on our bikes. It just takes a little longer to thread the uh, strap through or under the fender. 
but every bike's going to be a little different. I like the fenders though, so we don't get any water on our clothes when we ride through puddles. And when you're riding a bike from your childhood, you're going to ride through puddles. <laughs> I really have to contain myself to not say, wee. We're done. <laughs>